thing I want to try to get to tonight is lock sound. And the reason I want to get the lock sound this way is because as we're rolling, one of the most basic attacking hands is that lock and hit. Okay. Now, here's the thing with this. There's two ways you can do lock sound. The overlock and the underlock. How many people have seen the underlock? Do it again. Okay. And that's where it picks up on the underside. Okay. Now, how many people, raise your hands if you have not seen the underlock. Not you with the camera on. <laughs> okay. You're all wrong. No, you have seen it. You have seen it. Uh, probably the most famous lock sow in history. <laughs> and with the dragon, Bruce Lee. <clears throat> he does that underlock. What happens, think about this. If he's thrown a punch, and I picked up Bong because my hand was in a bad position under, this is available for lock. What if I throw a punch and he picks up pop? What's up here to lock? That under lock gets you there though, okay? You have an over and an under lock for that reason, okay? So the first one we're gonna work is that over lock. The second we're gonna work even though that's available to us, we're going to act as if it's not and pick up from the underside. Okay. Problems. The overlock, you're fine. The underlock, I'm crossing my hands. So you see how this creates a problem there? Because this hand's under this one. If this hand's over this one, he tries to do the same thing. I can control this side much, much better. But if I'm coming on the underside, He's got a control hand here. So when we do that underlock, we really need to pass off to the other hand. So the coordination factor on that is gonna be really passing this off. Notice I don't end up here, mm -hmm. I'm actually here. So he doesn't have that to lock down on or to, mm -hmm. to grab. So those are the two things we're gonna work this evening, okay? So let's tear up and we'll start working those. Thanks, Pat.